ice cream tea, two stevia. Iced coffee, white mocha. Real fancy over here. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 13. We just got back from the laundry mat, did our laundry, got shower ready to go. John and I have standby together tonight, so we are about to head over to O'Hare. John's on standby at five, I'm on standby at six. Hi. Hi! Wouldn't it be something if we got a trip together tonight? The only thing different is that John's only available for three days and I have four days available. So they could send me somewhere for four days tonight and they could send him somewhere for three days tonight. I really don't know. They could send us nowhere, which would be like the best case scenario because then you get paid and you don't even have to work. So we are about to head over to O'Hare, like I said, taking the train again. Again, I opted for a black sweater today. I was about to put my blue sweater on, but I was like, oh, you know what? Let me just do the black sweater again today. I somehow lost Sean. I thought he was right behind me. There he is. Ten minutes into standby and John just got a trip. Where are you going, John? Cincinnati. Fun. I was literally just getting up out of the room to get something to eat and my phone rang. And of course, it was crew scheduling. They just assigned me a trip, but it's working out in my favor. It's the trip I wanted because tonight I lay over in Buffalo, New York, and then tomorrow Orlando, a long Orlando layover, which is perfect because my friend Dev, if you follow her here on YouTube, Deventures, is having her ugly sweater Christmas party and I'm all packed and ready for that because I was really hoping to get this trip off standby tonight and I I knew I would because I was like literally the only one left. So I'm gonna head over to the gate now. It is 7.54 and I have to be at the gate at 8.21. So I have a little bit of time still. I have never been to Buffalo, New York before. So this is a brand new city for me. I'm assuming it's gonna be very cold there. Let's look at the weather. I am crouched over so far right now to be in the view of the camera. Oh, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. It's gonna be 34 degrees. I was totally prepared for like miserable weather and snow. We just got on board, did all of our safety checks. It is 8.41. We're gonna start boarding soon. Catering is back there, finishing up, getting everything ready for the flight. It's gonna be a super quick flight. I think the captain said it's only gonna be like an hour and some change. It's gonna be easy. We are in Buffalo tonight for like 13 hours. And then I wanna say we have to check in tomorrow at like 11.30 for the van. Hello, Buffalo, New York. My first time ever in Buffalo. This room is nice. Has a nice like living room area. Two beds, a desk gonna be super dark outside so I can't imagine you can see anything. Just a parking garage. Oh my gosh, is that an Alexa device? It has like a little Alexa next to the bed. And then the bathroom was super nice. Look at that glass shower, fancy. This, hello. And a nice robe for when I'm getting ready in a couple hours. I did not look in the closet. I should have checked in case someone was hiding in there. All good. Gonna get out of this uniform and then we'll chat about the day. Hey guys, I am finally settled into my hotel room here in Buffalo. I put on the robe because it is freezing in here and I forgot a sweatshirt in my bag, which I cannot believe I did that. I always have a sweatshirt in my backpack. And you guys know I love to put the AC down super low. That's one of the first things I do when I get into a hotel room, but it is so cold in here. Like I can't believe how cold it is. <sighs> Today was really not that bad. I just worked the one flight from Chicago to Buffalo. And then tomorrow I do Buffalo, Chicago to Orlando, which I'm super excited about because tomorrow is Devs, AKA Deventures here on YouTube. Christmas party. So I'm really excited to see her and I'm really excited to meet some flight attendants from her airline and her friends and stuff. And we're all gonna wear ugly sweaters and we're gonna have so much fun. So I'm really looking forward to that. Our layover tonight is super short. I have to be downstairs first thing in the morning, which not a huge fan of early shows, but it's all good. I'm definitely like an afternoon evening flyer. Early mornings are just never gonna be my thing I realized. But anyways, today was really good. I was on standby with John as soon as John checked in for standby, they called him and gave him a trip. He did one leg to Cincinnati and then tomorrow he does Cincinnati, Denver, back to Chicago. And then I was on standby probably like closer to two hours and then they called the three of us that were sitting on standby for this trip, which I knew they were gonna do because I saw it in there. But that's not good because it worked out in my favor. My crew is amazing. Everyone is super nice. The purser is, she's just like so sweet. The whole crew is super sweet. 
Um, the one girl on our crew actually has 30 hours here and I'm jealous because she's going to Niagara Falls tomorrow. I wish we had a longer layover. I would totally do Niagara Falls again. I haven't been there since I was a kid. Um, when I used to work at Spirit, my last airline, we used to fly to Niagara Falls and I actually never had a layover there before. And this is also actually my first time in Buffalo too. I've never been to Buffalo before. When the van was dropping us off outside the hotel, it actually looked really fun. Like there was like bars and restaurants. I'm like, okay, Buffalo. The only thing is the snow. I think Buffalo gets a ton of snow and I'm not about that life. I feel like today's Vlogmas is gonna be really short because it kind of just threw everything for a loop when I got that call in standby. But this hotel, guys, this hotel is like kind of bougie. I like it. Probably just gonna hang out for a little bit and then start getting ready for bed because I have to be up soon, like literally in like a couple hours because I am like nocturnal and stay up all night and I can never fall asleep when I have an early show. So I think I'm gonna binge watch some YouTube and just hang out. Is this a look or what? I cannot wait to take a shower in here tomorrow. I love that it has a stool. The only thing that can make it better would be if it had a waterfall faucet on the ceiling. Oh my gosh, that would be incredible. I wish I would have thought ahead and brought my skincare because this would have been the perfect layover to hang out, wash my face, do a whole treatment, put on a mask. But again, I didn't think ahead. And here I am unprepared in my robe. Oh my gosh, I just spilled tea all over the sheets. <sighs> Shoot, I cannot believe I did that. Oh, it's like all over here too. I feel bad, but it was an accident. Need to know, are any of you keeping up with these Idaho murders? Because this is crazy and so beyond sad. I literally keep up with this case all day long, but I don't feed into like the conspiracy theories and stuff that like people do online because that's not helping anyone. And you have to also remember these are real people and this is a real case. It's not like a game of Clue, like this is a real murder case. But I have been keeping up with it and I kind of just check for updates all day, hoping they figure out some new information, have a suspect. Right now, I don't know what's going on with it. But let me know, are you guys keeping up with it or not your thing? <sighs> I am so tired, guys. It is now 1.36 in the morning. I'm probably gonna get to bed. I feel like this vlog is so short though. So I'm really sorry if this vlog ends up short, but I've been trying my best. My last couple vlogs were like 10 minutes long. I feel like it's just harder during Vlogmas because it's just so much all the time. And like, especially when I'm working, like today it was kind of hard to vlog because I was in the crew and then like immediately I was walking John to his gate and then when I got back from that, I sat down for like 10 minutes and then I was off to Buffalo. I did try to vlog as much as I could today. So hopefully this vlog is like at least five minutes long or something. I'm really sorry if it's not. I promise tomorrow's vlog will be longer because I have a much longer day tomorrow. But thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Leave me a comment down below. I respond to all of your comments, good, bad, ugly, whatever. And I will see you guys tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 14. We are over halfway done with Vlogmas. How crazy is that? I can't believe it. Like Christmas is in like 10 days. Oh my gosh, it's Christmas! Doesn't matter if the snow is falling Or the windows in the rain is pouring